Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a review of the Dynas Powerbox G2's 10.24 kilowatts lithium ion phosphate batteries. The Powerbox G2 was released onto the market earlier this year in 2025 and immediately outclassed many of its competitors in the low voltage battery sector. Each unit contains 10.24 kilowatts of energy storage and has IP65 rating, meaning it's suitable for a likely sheltered outdoor environment. Each unit comes with built-in battery management systems and circuit breakers, as well as CAN bus communication, Wi-Fi, and all your DC outputs. Each unit also comes with built-in fire suppression and self-heating function to keep them operating in temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. The maximum charge and discharge current for these units is 200 amps, meaning they can supply a lot of power to your loads and take a lot of power back in to recharge again. And one thing that sets them well ahead of their competitors is their minimum state of charge, which on these is 5%. Basically, of the 10.24 kilowatts, 95% of that is totally usable until the system shuts down for protection. One of the best things about the Powerbox G2s is its retail price. It's currently on sale here in Ireland at the moment for 1,500 euros, not including the VAT, which for 10.24 kilowatts and all that extra spec is pretty good. So that's all the facts and figures out of the way. What are these actually like to live with? What's their ongoing performance like? Well, we first commissioned these six months ago, so we have six months to give proper feedback on them. If you're familiar with our channel, you'll know that we came from a large bank of lead acid batteries before we started using these. Our system is completely off grid. We live a totally modern lifestyle. Two young kids, a house full of appliances, dishwashers, electric showers, you name it. In the six months that we've been using the G2s to power everything on the property, the home, the garage, all of it off grid, we have not once reached the minimum state of charge of 5%. The lowest we've gone with them is 15% and that was after multiple days of dark weather, heavy rain, you know, not much coming in from the solar panels. My apologies, by the way, for the background noise. As you can see from the shadows, the sun is shining and the Maxi 11 here, all in one 11 kilowatt inverter is pumping the power back into these batteries. The one main problem we had with the G2s was the mobile app. Um, it took a couple of days for the app to actually register and connect with the batteries. They didn't really start giving full data until after the warranty process had been completed through the app. There was one stage where I, um, they lost communication completely um, for a couple of days and I had to shut the system down and then restart it again and restart the app. At which point then it did actually start working normally and it hasn't lost communication since. The one good thing I've noticed is Dynas have done multiple updates on that app um, in the last six months. And I suppose with new, new equipment and setting up the app, there's going to be some bugs, some glitches, that kind of stuff. Um, but since the updates, they haven't had any problems. What Dynas has done just in the last two days is they've added another update for people who are using these as an on-grid system. A lot of the latest technology now uses AI to cover your trading from when you're selling power to the grid and buying power back in. Dynas have now added that feature to their app that you can go in and activate. And that brings them into line with the latest competitors in the on-grid side of technology who are already installing AI features on their systems to control your grid tied connections. One other minor problem we've been having is getting the two power boxes to communicate with the old Maxi 11 here via CAN bus. Um, and it's not the power box's fault. They're talking to each other. They're talking to the app through Wi-Fi. Um, it's actually the fault of this Gen 1 Maxi 11. However, if you're using something like a Raspberry Pi or a newer piece of equipment, you're not gonna have any problems like that at all. They will all communicate seamlessly with each other. One thing I like most about the G2s, and it's something very important to consider when you're building your own system, is scalability. You know, being able to add to the system later on down the line, making sure that the equipment that you're investing in is gonna serve you for a long time. And you can add up to 40 Powerbox G2s. Yes, 40. That's 400 kilowatts of energy storage. And they'll all link together with CAN bus and talk to each other and talk to the rest of your systems. So as you get more money down the line or you know, as you're building your system, you can pretty much have more storage than you'll ever need. 
provided you have sufficient power coming in to charge them back up again. So there you go guys, short one for you today. Um, that is the honest six month review of the Powerbox G2s. They're a very impressive piece of kit. Um, they have a better price point than their competitors. Um, higher power, better discharge, more built-in features like the BMS, the circuit breakers, the Wi-Fi, the CAN bus, the fire suppression, the self-heating function right down to minus 20 Celsius. Um, definitely a worthwhile investment, I would say. Do keep an eye on our channel because we're going to use two more of these power boxes in our latest off-grid build, which is coming along nicely, um, where two homes are going to run off the one power system using two of these in parallel and two of the power boxes and some other nice little bits as well. A much bigger solar array that you can see in a previous video. And also keep an eye on our channel for the full report on this, the latest in grid tide technology, the SAJ HS3. And that video is just in the process right now as we speak, so it'll be coming to the channel very soon. Do keep an eye out for that. Other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.